Probably a broken nose, so if I'm sniffling, I'm sorry. Oh, no. That's okay. They're used to my fucking dumb voice. They can definitely tolerate yours. What up, Jopins? Episode 150. I'm here with a special guest today, my boy, JoJo MMA. Yeah, yes, sir. Real name, Joseph Griffin. I didn't say that on my last boys. I just said his Instagram name. I'm like, man, should I just keep doing that, or should I say the real name? So... Yeah, I'll do both. yeah, JoJo MMA on Instagram. My real name is uh, Joseph Griffin. Yes, sir. I really appreciate you coming on today because I know you're you know you haven't done that many pods. Yeah. So yeah. thank you, my man. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, boys. So don't be nervous. All right. Me and you met uh, when I started working at the the gym, or did I meet you before I started working at the gym? No, I came in and I saw you in the coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I talked to you. I knew kind of who you were, obviously. Um, but yeah, then I just kind of went in and I would get coffee from you and I'd get a uh, max and yeah. So h- how long before the coffee shop and I started working at the gym, uh, mm-hmm. how long have you been going to Tim's? Uh, probably like eight months, nine months now. No, I think I'm coming up on like a year, maybe like 10, 11 months. So not that much before I started working there. Yeah, when... probably not that much. Wow. Yeah. See, I thought you've been around for a while. No, uh-uh, so, not even a year. I think like July, end of July is a year, August. Wowzer. Yeah. Damn, so that means you weren't even at the uh, OG gym. No, I went to uh, the kickboxing gym like twice. The one that was down the street next yeah, to the yeah. second OG gym? Yeah, so I actually went there first, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is the gym. Uh huh. And then I was like, and they're like, no, 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 it's like down the street. And I was like, oh, okay, there's two gyms. They're like, yeah. So then I like went there, and then I went to Nogi mm-hmm. over at the real gym. Because you, you were training at the lab. Yeah, for a little bit, yeah. For like two months, maybe. Month and a half, two months. Yeah. So have you kind of just been how? So how long? My boy's a fighter, Jobins. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And he. It's really weird because my boy has genetics of fucking the Hulk. <laughs> Thank you. You do. <laughs> yeah. Underneath that shirt is a fucking chiseled sculpture. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You're ripped. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That right there, and it's crazy because it's like, man, you're so nice. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. yeah. I try you're, to be. Yeah, if, like, you were mean and scary and asshole, I'd be like, damn, that'd be terrifying. No, no, person. no, yeah, I don't, I don't have that in me. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you got something and you want to fight. Oh, yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. go out there and beat people up. Hey, when up. it's time to get down with the get down, you know, I'm getting down. You know what I mean? So, on, how old are you? Uh, 25. You're 25. So, how long have you been fighting? Um, Since 2022. 2022. I had two fights, 2022. I trained for, like, four or five months, mm-hmm. six months. And then I had my first fight, and then I fought again two months later. And okay. then 23, I didn't fight. Okay. And then 24, I just fought in April. There we go. Because now, and then uh, everyone just had, you were going to fight again with everyone on the card, right? Yeah, yeah. I was going to fight again on June 22nd, uh-huh. but I uh, sustained an injury Oh yeah, that to my nose. Your nose got broken. My little nose, yeah. I was telling, I forget who I was talking to about, but it's insane. How some fighters can go so like their whole careers and never have a broken nose. Like yeah. I was talking to the Dakar. Yeah. Dakar's been in wars. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the way that he trains, he fights, like he gets down and brawls, you mm-hmm. know, and but he's yeah. really smart. Never had a broken nose. Yeah, Courtney says I have a white boy skin. Damn. So that's why I it's uh, genetic. I cut and I also uh, break my nose. That's what Courtney said. I think maybe Jacar doesn't have white boy skin, so Oh, and I definitely got the white boy skin, huh? Yeah, you might cut, but and my nose, because dude, having a broken nose is something that I. Just, I don't know how true that is. If it's white boy skin, or if it's just like how my facial structure is, very mm-hmm. bony, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but yeah. Well, you're like Justin Gaethje, and he oh. had a broken nose his whole career. Yeah, fuck yeah, I love that guy. So yeah, he's, he's the man. Sure. He is the man. Damn. So what? How did you get a? How did you learn of Tim? And sh- was it because uh, of Sean? Um. Yeah, I think I saw. I definitely saw Shug's fights, uh-huh. like in in on like YouTube. I didn't watch the UFC, really. Like, I, the first card I ever saw, or the first fight, I watched Connor versus Nate one, and then I was like, Nate Diaz is the man. And I was like a huge Nate Diaz fan. Uh, Damn, for a that's like bit. what? But I, it was with Haley, Nine years actually. Ago? Like, we went to a party, and like, it was on. And that was like the first one I ever watched, like live. And I was uh-huh. like, oh shit, that shit's crazy. Kind of didn't watch it again. I played football, like I didn't care. And then uh-huh. once I got to college, that's when I like, found out like who Shug was, and then I like listened to the pod a couple times. So uh-huh. that's how I found, like, who Tim was. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was just through, like, the Timbo Sugar show. Damn. Yeah. That's so fucking cool. Yeah, because I had started and fighting up in Tucson. Uh-huh. And that's, like, around the time, like, 2022, when I, like, got into more, like, MMA mm-hmm. stuff. I, like, saw that on YouTube. How far away is Tucson from the gym? About 45 minutes? No, like, probably an hour. An hour? Change. Oh, yeah. Damn, so you're doing that drive all the time? 
No, I wouldn't train at the gym. I was training in Tucson. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then after I graduated college, uh-huh. I had moved down to Phoenix. So you grew up on a football background. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Your whole, how long, your whole life? Or did you start when you were a kid or? Yeah, I, I started football when I was seven. Damn. It's right when you could start, um, mm-hmm. I started. My dad was my coach my first year. So you never even thought about fighting? Oh, no. Uh-uh. I was a football player my whole life. Like, I played junior college football, um, transferred to U of A. That's how I got to Tucson. I'm from California. Really? Um, yeah. I went to junior college, Riverside City College. Uh-huh. Um, played there and started there at running back, and then I transferred to U of A. Uh, you were a running back? Yeah, I was a running back, yeah. Damn. Yeah, running Just... back in a strong safety. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And Look I tried to you. walk on there, and uh, COVID happened, so it didn't work out. Really? Yeah, COVID happened. They shut down the walk-on program. Uh, That's so crazy. And, yeah, and then I was like, fuck, man. And one of my friends, actually, uh-huh. was like, yeah, let's go to MMA gym. So we went and trained, and then I just So if training. COVID happened, maybe you'd be a professional football player right now. Fuck, if I made the team. Yeah. Yeah, if I made the team. I was That's in really good crazy. shape at the time, though. But you yeah. always look like you're in really good shape. So. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Fuck. I try. Damn. Yeah. See, I played football. Uh, for one year, mm-hmm. uh, I always wanted to play football, but we couldn't afford it. Oh, and yeah. My, and my mom was like, "No, no, it's too violent for my baby." Yeah, no, nah, we were like, totally oh, opposite. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> if you didn't play football, like you, you were, were a bitch. bitch. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah, my dad. Yeah. Dude, I literally, like, yeah. all my friends played football, and I'd, I'm like, they're all like, "Come on, Ricky, we need you." And I'm like, "I want." At middle school, I was yeah. like, "I want to play with you guys so bad." My dad was like fighting other dads in the parking lot. Really? Yeah. Damn, so it's in your blood. Fighting was there, but oh, yeah, you just baby. weren't. You were My just, dad gets down, homie. Huh? Really? Uh, yeah, he gets down. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah, he's, he's, he's cool, man. He's Fuck. crazy. So what was it like playing uh, college football? It was fucking hard. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was hard, dude. It was like eight hours a day. It was almost like a job, damn near. Like, you go to class, go to practice, like, wouldn't eat lunch, mm-hmm. be in film for, like, two and a half hours, get reamed, and then go practice on the field for two more hours, and then lift for, like, an hour and a half. See, dude, I Every day, bro, I was like, I it was JUCO, so it's... I wanted to go play in college. Volley. JUCO's, like, real shit. Really? Yeah, we had a lot of, like, D1 bounce backs, so basically, like, people that went to Division One schools, like, our quarterback, for example, was from University of Oregon. Mm-hmm. He just didn't have good grades, so he got kicked out. So, Damn. like... We had ballers, but, like, we're all just, like, juvenile delinquents. Yeah. Kind of like, just idiots, you know? Should that be changed? <laughs> it's like, who cares what the grades they get? <laughs> yeah, dude. Let them like, play. Some of the best ballers got terrible grades. Yeah, right? Oh, 100%. That is kind of dumb. Yeah. Another weird thing I noticed about, like, Juco was people would eat, like, Big Macs and just go score eight touchdowns. Really? Yeah, no dude. No throwing like, up. Like, this whole, like, thing of eating good and, like, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Like, for football, I feel like it doesn't really pertain to, like, football i know uh mma guru was pretty much shutting down tim every time yeah it was funny as fuck because <laughs> tim's like oh how, how did you ever think about what you ate last night made you feel the next day and he's like oh no I, I i didn't have the shits or anything and so it's just like he wakes up it's what he ate is what he ate yeah. he's on to his next day it's, it's weird huh? yeah well when yeah. you're i gotta remember mm-hmm. which we forget i don't know if this is for you yet but yeah. i re- gotta remind myself that two of my best friends are top tier athletes. Very true. Top tier, like the one percent, you yeah. know. Yeah. And though the Kobe Bryant's, you know. Yeah. So those those mindsets are so different from yeah. the everyday fucking. The diet definitely does help. Hundred percent. You feel way better. Feel better. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just I know, saying it's true. I know some motherfuckers that like will eat Can do four it. Big Macs and go score yep. five touchdowns, and it's just weird how like different genes and how athletic some people are. humans have been surviving off shit food for a long time and we yeah. have built the immunities Fucking we're designed yeah. for it yeah. people in war were drinking coca-cola and going to war Just fucking killing motherfuckers yeah dude yeah. <laughs> That's fine. tim would tim would be like oh where's my cactus water he'd have to fucking have a fucking <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> some fucking my brain drink in order to go <laughs> on the fucking battlefield. Some fucking, uh, some <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, I always wanted to go play college sports, mm-hmm. but I just wasn't good enough. Schmitters was wasn't hard, good. Dude. Was I hard. played volleyball, dude. So my two buddies, we had the tallest motherfucker ever. Shout out Kyle. Uh, he was like 6'10", 6'11". Oh, my God. Yeah, so he got, he went and played 
with my buddy Mark. I, fr- I think they both played at the same college. I think it was like Fonbon or something. My buddy Mark Mark was a really good hitter. He could fucking hit that fucking volleyball like it was nothing. It was cool. But, dude, I'm, did you ever play volleyball? You laughing. <laughs> no. A lot of people think, so many people think, oh, volleyball is a have girls. We fucking volleyball team. Yeah, yeah. see? Hell no. Bro, you ready for my life? Dude, I think sometimes I'm like, man, maybe my high school experience was like one of the movies. Because I hear so many people have completely different high school experiences. I'm like, holy shit. You're in like high school musical? Yeah. Well, well like we had our cliques. Everyone, there was all the cliques. Uh, just the type of relationships that everyone had. Yeah. This, we had all the sports. We had, we had it all. See, ours was like a one sport school, really. You could really? You play one sport, yeah. And Dude, we had it. The year you were like in weight room. So, um... The thing that's really cool is Michael Chandler is from High Ridge. Dude, Missouri's, like, we're good wrestlers. So, Sekman, my high school, we were actually a really good wrestling program. And the sad thing was our big wrestling coach, uh, Ryan Green, I believe mm-hmm. that was his first name, Coach Green, uh, he had passed away. He got hit. He was helping someone on the highway and got hit by a car. Ooh. Fucking so, such a good dude. Like, he helped so many people at Sekman with wrestling. Like, he yeah. changed, like, just such a good person. But we had a huge... He wanted me to come wrestle, but I was terrified because you'd be going, you'd be showing up to school and these motherfuckers are running laps around the whole thing. You're leaving school. They're running laps around the whole thing. I was terrified. I was like, I can't run. put down those big mats. I know, dude, I know. I was like, yeah, dude, wrestling, that's what it was. wrestling <laughs> program scares me. Football's already hard. I was the same way though, dude. I would fucking like eat hot Cheetos and go run track. Bro, right? You eat like a Big Mac. And- dude, they, and we had hills. Like we're not flat like out in Arizona. Yeah. We're hilly. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the back of our high school was this huge hill. And, like, we would have to run that for football. And that was hard enough for Big Schmitters. Oh, dude, yeah. Dude, at the JUCO, we mm. had uh, days when we would do bad shit. Like, and bad shit, I mean, like, wear white socks instead of black. We would get reamed. Really? Our coach was, like, 82. He would ream us. And then we'd run for, like, two hours straight. I'm not even joking. Like, on the fucking field in Riverside, California, which is, like, very humid and hot. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah. We had linemen, like, big motherfuckers like you, crawling, mm. throwing up, like... Get up, pussy. It's yeah. like, oh, my God. Damn, so just a one sport. And I was just thing. fucking running. Dude. I think that's why I'm just in good shape. Because, like, dude, the mm-hmm. Juco really, like, bro, it was hard. Sounds like a military school. Oh, dude, it was, like, hard as fuck. See, our school, we didn't have dress code. Everyone could wear whatever the fuck you want. See, that now, this was Juco. Like, high school was different. Like, obviously, oh, okay, like, yeah. high school, I was just, like, we weren't taking shit serious, you know. We were really I, good, but, yeah. I, uh, I also managed girls volleyball with my buddy. That's pretty far. You took, like, all the stats? Dude, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't really do shit. I always got distracted. I would just, like, kind of help coach. Sometimes I'd take care of stats. Sometimes I'd have to be the judge or the one of the guys that helps, like, when the ball goes out. Or, like, like, yeah, it went out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do all that kind of shit. But most of the time, me and Mark, we were just like, damn, look at her. Look at her. My goodness. Just so many chicks. Oh, yeah. 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 And then we would even go on, like, trips. Yeah, dude. It's pretty far. Yeah. High school is, for me... At, like there was years where I was like, "Fuck, I hate school so much." But then I loved high. I school. loved it. Same. Yeah, I never had like real problems in high school. Did you have any? Did you ever get in high school fights? Um, not really fights, but mm-hmm. like over all my like little scuffles were over Haley. At more because, dude, you, I was like trying to talk to her, and just like two people would mm-hmm. just constantly like and you try to ruin their it. Ass? No, I never beat anyone up. I just like approached people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I approached one guy and he had a girl, another girl in his car. And I was like, what are you doing? Uh-huh. I was like, bro, if you're like, you have another girl, like fucking leave him. Like, you know what I mean? Leave yeah. him alone. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Cause honestly, like you're a pretty sensible guy. You're really, yeah, no, no, no. Ch- I wasn't chill. like, I'm going to kill him. But yeah, guaranteed. Like, let I'd be know. scared to see I pulled you up. Mad. I pulled up on this guy cause it had been like a long thing. Uh-huh. And I was like, uh, Hey man, like I knocked on his window. He rolled it down. There's another girl. And I was like, what, what the fuck are you doing? You have another girl with you. Like, what was he doing? Just chatting with the other girl. Uh-huh. But like he's with another girl. Like, why are you trying to ruin what I have? You have another girl. He was chatting with Haley. No, yeah, he was trying to. Yeah, this yeah. was a guy from her past. Like, yeah, yeah. So like her ex. Basically. What was this? Was it, were you guys at like a movie? No, I was in the high school parking lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pulled up chirping before. But I had know. like six homies in the whip. Damn. Like Hold my up. best friend. We had other homies, and uh-huh. they came. And then I was like, just in case. He was going to get fucked up, like, for real. So but was Haley he's lucky there? that he was cool and everything was cool. And I was like, yeah, I, I didn't want to, like, hurt the guy. But yeah. I was just like, I had my homies. We were fucking around. I was like, I'm going to pull up on him. I see him in the parking lot. So I pulled up on him. 
dude, I was such a dumb, arrogant boyfriend. I was like, oh, my, my, our relationship's so fucking good. She wouldn't want anybody else. And I just never cared. No, I pulled up on that guy. And then there was another guy who did make some heinous claims about me. And really? Her, yeah, I don't even want to say. Like, mm-hmm. really fucked up. And uh, I just pulled up on him when he walked out of class because my coach was his teacher. Cause you and Haley, you and Haley have been together for eight years now. Yeah, eight years. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, it's my best buddy. Yeah, mm. eight years is a long time. So you're 25. I, I was 16. Seven, 16. Like just turning 17, probably. Wowzer, brother. Yeah, that's high school sweetheart shit right high school there. Sweethearts, man. Yeah, I lost mine. Pour it's one right. out. Yeah. Dude. Pour I, it out. Yep. I'm not saying I'm. It's I'm happy. I'm happy for you. Yeah, you just got to move on. It's, Thank you for the experience. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. You got to It's a learning thing. 100%, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cuz when the when you lose your high school sweetheart, you're that first love. That's really what I don't want to lose. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, Cuz she we feels can like be your best so friend. old and be like, "Yo, we are fucking 16." Right? You feel like you that's got your sick. best friend. Yeah. That's my best friend, bro. You guys have, and when it comes to being with someone that long comes you probably have been through some real shit in life. I was together. literally just going to say, we've been through like real shit. Like yeah. That girl, bro, for like being such a sweetheart has been through some real shit. Wow. You know, same with me, I feel like, and everyone. But like, mm-hmm. yeah, we've been through some shit, man. And mm-hmm. like that eight years, like, dude, we did long distance for like four years. Oh, five wow. Years. Oh, yeah, dude. Like what long was... distance, like California to Arizona distance. How many? Well, how how many hours? Like six. Oh, okay. Seven. Yeah. Because if it was three, I'd be like, damn, I'd hop on. I'd, every other week be Oh, no, no, no. We did three uh, when I was still in Riverside. She was uh-huh. in Santa Barbara. She oh, went wow. to UCSB. And uh, I would drive up like every other weekend. Every oh, okay. Two weekends, go see her. That's nice. Yeah, so it's not like American Pie to... 2 or anything like that. It's not like I didn't see her for a year. No, there's no yeah. fucking way. You probably have no idea what I just said with American Pie 2, huh? I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, because you didn't. I'm a little young. Yeah. For, for God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. I, but then again, to be fair, we didn't watch that many movies. Really? Yeah, I love movies now. I like, <laughs> love going to the movies because mm-hmm. I feel like we didn't go to the movies. See, I grew up. Uh, I grew up on movies, so like, I know, no, live, I mean, breathe, talk. You movies. know what I grew up on? Fucking gospel, baby. And fo- gospel. The Lord the and Lord, football, brother. The yeah. Lord My and football. Both worked for the Catholic Church. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So they were hardcore strict with you your whole life? Not hardcore strict, but we very much like would go to mass. We mm-hmm. would do certain things. We'd pray. We'd mm-hmm. do this. Yeah. So our community was our church. Our church actually built our house. Mm-hmm. So like, Damn. we don't have shit if it wasn't for the church. Damn. Is you that some I mean? like uh, Amish type shit? No, no, no. Just very small town Catholics. Okay. Yeah. Feeling California. Very Bro, honestly, tiny. I wish... It's like, why couldn't our whole country have just, like, I don't know, farmed together and just worked That's, like, kind of where I'm from, dude. Like, a little like, desert farm town. You know what I mean? What do we need? Do we, do we need... I know we need it. I know I'm stupid. I hate it. Do I need cash to eat and survive? Or do I need food to eat and survive? I think I need food. I know we need money to get the food. Yeah, but... Yeah. I just wish there you was... can't grow a, shit out here. <sighs> Well, who? I don't know why we're in the fucking desert in the first place. Who wants to live in the middle of the goddamn desert? We're crazy. I really am crazy. Are, I we went are, outside that night last night and it was 110. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, it's getting hot everywhere. It's even hot back in Missouri right now. Like, so. it's hotter here than even in Tucson. Yeah. Fri- uh, so it's Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, the third. Tomorrow is Fourth of July. Happy oh, Fourth of shit. July, everybody. Which yeah. is crazy. Damn, it is tomorrow. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, this 4th of July is definitely big. It's weird for me because, uh, it's this, this is the month that my dad passed away last yeah, year yeah. at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's like, whoa, it's already been a year. Cause it's like, it feels like it's been forever, but yeah. it also is like, boom. Yeah. And that's just like time type shit. And then also with my family. So like we would all get together during the holidays at mm-hmm. different, you know how, were you like that? Like different, oh, uncle, this uncle's house for this holiday. Not like uh, we go to this family. We go to this family for this holiday. Yeah, kind of like yeah. it was only like with my nana. Though. Yeah. Like we'd go to my nana's, or like they'd go really to our house. Well, Fourth of July was like our house, so like the yeah, whole fa- like the whole family from both sides would come over. We'd barbecue all day, and then we'd shoot off a huge thing. Of, we'd because my whole neighborhood. We lived in a pretty big neighborhood. Yeah, and everyone in my fucking neighborhood shot off fireworks. So it was literally like a fucking always a good time. That's sick. That was kind of the reason why our house got turned into the 4th of July spot was compared to everybody else in the family. Ours was the best. That's fire. 
Yeah. So uh, I was even looking back on my notes from last 4th of July. I'm like, damn. Because you just go, you go, man, that was the last time, the last 4th of July. Talking to my dad about it. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. they Did were you like. Did you see your dad on the last 4th of July? No. And they actually didn't celebrate 4th of July. Uh, yeah. Damn. Uh, was he already sick? He was starting to get tired more. Because that's how it happened. Like. Uh, he just saw some, I, I knew that his tech, his text messages were getting shorter, mm-hmm. you know? And I was like, mom, I, and he would usually call me and I'd call him Well, he started not answering. Oh, and he'd yeah. send me a text. Sorry, I was napping. And then, uh, and then I couldn't get a hold of my like, mom. What's going on? Oh, he's just been real tired. And then boom. Cause so it happened yeah. real quick. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just a little weird. I'm grateful. Uh, she, my mom's doing okay. Cause she actually Good. told me she watched a video where they were coming out to visit me last year. And she's yeah. like, oh, I heard your dad's voice. And for the first time, she said it, it was comforting. Good. So that's a healing step. No, that's that's very important, yeah. 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 And uh, It's fucking good, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're, like, happy about it, too, you know? Yeah. Well, that TV, I'm not crazy, Jobins. The TV thing happened. I can talk. And whenever I'm down and sad, or if I'm thinking something horrible about, the, about yeah. him being gone, I try to remember the TV thing. Yeah. And because here's the, we're opposites, brother. Yeah. So my mom is super religious, right? Yeah. But she's always like, my mom's not that type of religious person to where it like poisons your mind and you judge people and you're opinionated so heavily. Like my mom's a very open-minded person. Mm -hmm. She believes that there's a God, you know, and that everything happens for a reason, but she's not going to force her religion on anybody. She's not going to judge anyone. And even me, maybe she should have been a little tougher on me in this. But when I was a kid, bro, she'd be like, no, I'm going to take it. And I'd be like, no, fuck that, mom. Like, I hate that shit. Because I would go, I did go a couple times. Yeah. I like it so, because I would, my mom, being a huge religious person, when I'm a little kid, she said that I would ask her questions she couldn't answer. And so she it would kind of, that's why she wanted to take me even more. But I didn't, I was like, no, I don't like blah, blah, blah. It's weird. It See, weird. I didn't have like. I didn't uh, question anything until I got to high school and I had a, my freshman year, I had a professor or yeah, his Mm -hmm. name is Dr. DeHart, Uh a teacher, English teacher, but he had uh, been a teacher at um, Oxford University Mm -hmm. in the UK Mm -hmm. and he was a very smart guy. He wrote books on like transhumanism and stuff, Mm -hmm. um, like a philosopher, like philosophical stuff. Uh Um, But yeah, and he told me, uh, I was in his poetry club and stuff and uh, he told me that my writing was really good. And then I like got into like deep discussions with him sometimes, uh-huh. and he was like, "Yeah, like he, I talk, opened up how I was raised and stuff." And he's like, "Oh, you should really like question it." Wise beyond your age. Yeah, and he told me like you should really question it though. He's like, "You can believe that, but yeah. like really uh, look at yourself and um, do some I- investigating within yourself and right. see if that's what you actually believe." Right. So if you do- if you don't, he's like, "It's okay to not believe what you were like." program to believe you know right exactly because yeah. even my Very mom does smart guy yeah even my mom lot. they'll do a hundred a guy like that from him yeah the, you're, that's he's actually, actually very lucky. pissed that i'm fighting well yeah yeah he's uh he's actually the teacher for my girl that's the devil's work brother yeah he's the, the teacher for my work. girlfriend's uh, uh little sister uh-huh. uh, one of her teachers now and he he found out i was fighting and he was like that kid's like should not be fighting he saw the he saw the lord in you now he's seeing the devil i don't know man i think he thinks i'm too smart to fight Hundred percent. But I think fighting's like a very smart person's game, you know, In- intellectual yeah. game kind of. And you got to remember, it's still relatively new compared to generation wise. You know what I mean? A lot of yeah. old people. Even my dad, my dad was a huge boxer fan, Ooh. and loved uh, cool. and, and wrestling. He shook Andre the Giant's hand type shit. Oh WWE. Yeah, he went Me to that too. also. Yeah, also the other stuff too. But he went to so. He's been to Muhammad Ali events. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, so. But even being as big as a boxing fan as he was, he thought it, UFC and MMA was too violent. It took until Conor McGregor. Dude, I, I remember growing up and I literally like would I would like see like my brother showed me Uriah Faber highlights one time. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh god! Like I was like, how? Like I didn't understand how someone could get hit like that. Uh huh. And, and keep like, going. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. And I never thought I'd do it. I never thought. No way. What made you decide to do it? <sighs> Depression. I think, really? Yeah, I don't know. Did you? Well, uh, what were yeah. you all? What were you depressed? Were you sitting there going, "Man, Dude, I can't, I, I, didn't, I, just I can't make like, football." Yeah, like football wasn't happening. COVID mm-hmm. was killing people. Like mm-hmm. I was stuck in a one-bedroom little apartment, which was cool, you mm-hmm. know. But like I moved to Tucson with nothing, with no one. 
mm-hmm. by myself, like and Haley's off to doing chase school. this football thing. No, she had graduated already. She had already. Well, so where was she? she was just chilling. Yeah, working? she was. She was back home, uh, bartending events, Damn. doing stuff like that. Working uh, in California with her, living with her parents. Helping so were you out. almost thinking about moving there? Uh, no, I had just moved out of California and uh-huh. I moved to Tucson. And then I got you know COVID and all that. So I was stuck doing online classes in the middle of Tucson. Really? Just waking up, baking, just being playing video games, like yeah. not doing shit. How long did you do that for? Like the two years COVID was. Two years. Okay, yeah, yeah there like we the are. Two years because they didn't open up school. Well, let's just call semester. that COVID. We were all doing the same shit. Yeah, we were all doing the same shit. I was taking, I was help cutting grass, grocery shopping, and playing video games with yeah, Sean. Yeah, and, and then I got a landscaping job. I started doing up there uh-huh. through one of the guys at the gym. And then that's when I took a fight. And then I was like going to school and doing my two fights I did. So when, what made you want to fight? I don't know. You just woke up one day and the guy and who? I, I went to the gym, dude, and like I was started training. And now looking back at the videos of me, like first starting, I was like, oh my God, I was terrible. But like, mm-hmm. you know, this coach, my old coach, mm-hmm. uh, just, he was like, yeah, you're going to fight. You just and walked I was like, in? Okay. No, like after training a couple weeks there, he was uh-huh. like, yeah, I want you to fight. Like you're, you're really athletic. And I was like, oh yeah, I know. Like maybe I'll fight. You know, I went in there not to fight. I didn't want to fight. Like, uh-huh. And I was like, okay, yeah, maybe like, and then he texted me one day and he was like, Hey, pull up to this, this address. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I pulled up and it was like a, like a boxing event mm-hmm. and I was fighting and I had no fucking idea. Mm-hmm. And I walked in and they were like, yeah, the guy you're fighting's not here. And I was like, what? And then like, they were what like, the yeah, fuck is going on? yeah. And I was kind of like, what? And my coach yeah. was like, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And then they're like, yeah, you're fighting this guy. It was like a 190 pound Mexican kid. Uh-huh. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like 155 pounds. I was like, okay. Uh-huh. So I went in the, yeah, and I fucking, I'm not going to lie. Like, I got fucked up. Really? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. I went in there like, oh, I just smoked like a blunt. I uh-huh. went in there and I was like, okay. And I'm boxing this what kid trying to fight. What an insane situation. Yeah, I was trying to fight, bro. And this yeah. kid fucked me up. Uh-huh. Pretty, pretty good. Taught My you some lessons. Swollen. Oh, yeah, big guy. Yeah. And then uh, after the fight, I like went. Watched you got a, balls for doing that, by the way. Yeah, after I like just went outside and I smoked more. And then uh, uh-huh. my coach was like, yeah, you're a fucking warrior. Uh-huh. And then two weeks later, I did another one, and I did a little better. I fought this other boxer kid. He's like two and zero boxer. Uh-huh. Did pretty well. He was my size. I did good. Mm-hmm. And then that's when, like, you know, he was like, "I'm gonna get you an MMA fight." And I did an MMA fight. Did you? And you won that fight? Yeah. And then, dude, I just like naturally was better at MMA than boxing. What about then football? I was pretty good at football. You're really good at football. Pretty good. Yeah. How many touchdowns do you score? A lot. Uh, I don't remember like exact numbers. It's so long ago. But a lot. A good amount, yeah. I was That's fucking fine. gnarly. Dude, I did it for so long. Like that was my thing. When I played football, I was a lineman. Yeah. And I I was the fifth street I was the fifth quarter guy. Yeah. Got put in because we had so many people. Yeah. My dream was to always tackle the quarterback, make him get fumble. No, make him fumble, uh, get the up. football and run for a touchdown. I would like be in bed after just be like, Oh man, that'd be so cool if yeah. I did that. That's what I loved about volleyball. Is like even though it's a team sp- game, like yeah. it's a very you got to have your team. Yeah, it was still cool to get points like basketball when you make a bucket. Yeah, you know what I mean. In yeah. football, when you're a lineman, you don't get to make a bucket. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, so that's why I lo- I when I joined volleyball, I was like, oh, I love this shit. This is fire. It's fire. Yeah, uh, I wish it, man. Volleyball is pretty sick. It's so much fun. I and what's fun is like it. It's fun to play now. Like yeah. we then we can play sand. Oh fuck yeah! If you want to play some volleyball? Yeah. Yeah. Same I don't know the rules or anything, but I'm down I'll right. teach you, baby. Yeah, I'll teach yeah, you. Because the thing that's kind of cool is I, I, I've I lost my – I'm much fatter now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I had lost a whole bunch of weight losing – or mm-hmm. losing weight playing volleyball. Mm-hmm. It got to a point where I got above the net during the summer one year. I was really excited for the senior year. I was like, fuck, I'm getting above the net. Holy shit. It's fire. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Nah, I'm, there ain't no way Schmidt's getting above that net today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I'm better at MMA yeah. than football. I know I probably what? will be. You know, that's fire. Well, I dude, just you have to grind. What's cool about working at the gym is I see all the guys who work the hardest. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you see who comes in. You're one of them. Thanks, man. Yeah. I, I really. Uh, I don't know what else I do. I kind of lose my mind. Well, it's really cool that because uh, not everyone does that. Some people can fall into a heavy depression, like me. I still that like it's hard to do. Yeah. Like here, all my here, all I'm feeling all this pressure, this weight, everything around me is falling apart. And then you found something. Yeah, 100%. that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I definitely am happy. I found it. Not only to find something, and it kind of just like happened. Right. Like, I didn't really want to like do this. 
That's what's weird. It's Sometimes, weird. dude, the most successful people at their what they do, it's like that. Yeah, it's like I'm not like this guy that is like, oh, I'm like, I want to fight everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, like people think they're like the shit or mm-hmm. like a macho man and shit. I don't think I'm like that at all. There's an actor like I think it's like, what's his name, Keith. So oh, fuck. Like what I'm trying to say is like, yeah. dude, I never really fought. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I never. I didn't like my first fight when it was happening. I like mm-hmm. didn't know if I was gonna do good. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know, and I kind of just went in there. Got yeah, and it was like, fuck. Learn that. And then I was like, shit. I and then like, dude, I remember specifically like watching the fight after it happened, uh-huh. and just being like, that was me, like moving, like mm-hmm. I didn't remember like. Lakeith Stainfield. Keith Stainfield. Le- I think it's Lakeith Stainfield. Lakeith. Stain- do you I don't know, know who that is? No. <laughs> He's an actor. Uh, I know like one actor, bro. Adam Sandler's my yeah. guy. Oh, yeah, dude. I grew, fucking grew up love on that Adam guy. Sandler. That's my favorite actor. I only <laughs> watch like, that's what I'll do is like, I just watch Adam Sandler movies. Do you like That's My Boy? Yeah, fuck, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that's it's Brendan's, not one of my favorites, but I it's pretty good. I fucking hate that movie and it's, it's Brendan's like, favorite. Okay, I, I was scared you were going to say it's your favorite. It's not uh-uh. one of my favorites. Uh-uh. It's okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. Hubie Halloween is so much better than the fucking. I think Hubie Halloween sucks. <laughs> that's okay. A lot of, I think it needs a sequel. I think it fucking sucks. I think that bitch needs a sequel. But I'm a big. That, uh, what's that murder mystery with Jennifer Aniston? The, I think it's murder mystery. You murder mystery. Those are my. Murder I love those. Yeah. I like. Um, those were cool. Uh, the other one. Uh, oh my god. There was one with Fuck. David Spade. He did that. Yeah, I with David Spade. Yeah. The, where they change identity. Yeah, I liked yeah, that that's one. That's what I was gonna say. I yeah. like that one. That was good. Um, the guy's fucking that girl. Dude, Hubie Halloween. The mom with her shirts. Incredible. I don't remember that one. I yeah. watched it once. I was like, this is terrible. It, it's the flask thing is stupid. <laughs> Have you seen Little Nicky? Yes, I love Little Nicky. Dude, what I loved about Hubie Halloween is because it was during the, you know, the superhero Avengers time, so it was like they brought the whole Adam Sandler world together. And Halloween's my favorite holiday. Yeah, so maybe it was that's like why the it Sandler got me. Thing. Yeah, and I'm a huge yeah. like that's Hubie Halloween. That movie is a vibe in itself for like fall themed Halloween. Yeah. That like literally for me when it's Halloween season, that's a that's like a Halloween movie I can just put on and have in the background. I'm a huge Halloween guy. Yeah, me too. My girlfriend's yeah. birthday is Halloween. That's fire. So our house, like right now, our house still has Halloween decorations. Little, Peep's, I just live in spooky season. Little Peep's birthday was Halloween night, November first. Fuck yeah. born. You know what I mean? Ha- Haley's is Halloween night, but the thirty first. Damn. What's going on? She's a witch, brother. Yeah, dude. All like I've always been like I was the kid that was so scared. Yeah, and I my, was too. But then I would beg my mom. To let me watch the scary movies. No, hell no, not me, dude. I was like, I was please, mom. Fucking terrified. Thirteen Ghosts came out, yeah. and I was pissed that I couldn't go see it in theaters with my mom and sister. I'm like, please. And then my mom came home, like, did Matthew Lillard live? And she told me she didn't want to break my heart. She's like, yeah, he lived. My brother would turn the lights off and go, it's the Frog Man, and I fucking freak out. Oh yeah, see, I'm ah. old. I'm old. Idle hands, and this is a memory I have with my dad. Idle hands. Idle hands. That's a. It's like. That would pro- scare me. Idle hands was like a '90s comedy horror with like okay. Seth Green and the guy from Final Destination, uh-huh. and he has to cut off his hand because oh, his hand gets possessed. So now his hands running around killing people. I was a kid when that came out. Oh I literally saw it when it came out on DVD is when or VHS is when I watched it with my parents. Yeah. I'm terrified. I'm like, I don't want to go. I'm so scared. Please, someone sleep with me. My dad comes in my room, sits down on my bed, and he goes, what, are you scared the hand's going to get you? And then he, like, gets it all over my I, I remember just being so pissed and scared. You're scared of uh, the Adams the Adams family hand. Yeah. That little guy? Well, that movie, as a kid, you got to remember. He's just like, oh, dude, I was probably, fuck, six, seven years old. But I watched The Exorcist. No, it, no, no, no. Bro, I watched all those when I was like fucking five, four years no, old. Uh-uh, not just me. terrified out of my in all fucking that mind. Shit, bro, no. But see, I love that because now, like, dude, if I could make movies and make a horror film, uh-huh. there's a movie coming out, Nosferatu. Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited about that yeah, because be cool. it looks like it cares because I'm itching for something to scare. There's that uh, Long Legs came out. It looks <sighs> terrifying. Brother. Heard Nicolas Cage is scary in it. I'm longing for the day that I see a movie that scares me. Dude, you, I've I'm heard numb. it's pretty scary. I might have burnt. Either that part of my brain is burnt, and, or maybe I'm to the point that I've know. seen so many horror films and all of it so much that it's just, you know, like, I'm numb to it. I, I don't get that because... Uh, I think yeah, I'm numb I to it. Know. I, I think it's real life shit I that scares me. I wasn't allowed to watch those. 
like heights. Like my dad was always like, you can't let that devil shit get in your brain. Yeah, even devil movies, they don't scare You'd me. You'd be like, that shit enters your brain and just ruins your mind. Yeah. Yeah. He always would tell me, don't do things that take your mind from you. That Well, that's it's wise. That's a wise man. Yeah. And it's very true because you know it's really the power of thought. It is the power of thought. It's yeah. the power of thought. Yeah. And it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Maybe me watching horror films fucked me up as an adult in a way that I don't know. Fucking could have. Could have. But dude, you know what really scared me? I'm not me? doing devilish shit though, you know? That's good. Just be a good person. You know? Right? But I was terrified of a uh, fucking, we went to Universal Studios on the tram ride. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember seeing uh, Psycho, uh-huh. Norman Bates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the, have you been on that tram ride? No, I've never been so there. So you basically but I've seen. stop at all the little, you know, little movie sets, and oh, there's yeah. one for the Bates <laughs> Motel. He he carries a fucking bloody body in a in a shower curtain out, yeah, like this creepy oh, yeah. hair slicked, puts it in the. He trunk. stabbed the bitch. He turns around and he runs at the tram, mm. and he fucking runs at the part where I'm at, and I'm like, oh my god, and I was fucked up for years. Really? Oh my god. Just I would take gotcha. showers and fucking like uh-huh. wash my hair while I didn't have to close my eyes. He kills her in the shower. Uh-huh. Oh my God, dude. I was fucking horrified. Horrified for like two years. Isn't that fire? It was so fucked. I think no. that's fire. To dude. this day, I'll be in there and I'll uh, close my eyes and I fucking. When I watched Jeepers Creepers when I was a little kid, the first Jeepers Creepers, that changed how I slept. I, I slept underneath my pillow for that, probably uh, a year. Isn't that director a pedophile? I think so. Who was the director? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, name, yeah, you're right. He was like a pedo. Yeah. That sucks. I mean, it's weird, too, because I remember watching them. Like, there's those naked bodies all over the ceiling and shit. So I never, like I've never seen shit. the movie. I just know that the director was like a pedo. I was a big Justin Long fan when I was yeah. a kid. He's the main guy in Jeepers Creepers. Oh. He's in, have you ever seen? Oh, is well, he we could do this all day. in Dodgeball? Yeah, I was just about yeah, to say. Exactly He's in he a is. bunch of good movies. My brother dude. likes Justin, that guy. Justin Long. And I learned as an adult that he has a twin. And I'm like, whoa. Weird. Interesting. Yeah. But uh, I was a big Justin Long fan. So that's when I was like, I was a kid. I was like, please let me watch it. Even my sister was like, I don't think you should let him watch it. Yeah. My mom did. Yeah. And then he I watched a... And then I slept with the pillow over my head for a year. Oh, my God. You know what else scared me was a Texas Chainsaw. Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. The one in 2003 with Holy Jessica Biel shit. is still my favorite one. They're like, yeah, and his face is another man's face. I know. And you're like, like, holy Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, I'm, what? The thing is, when you're a kid and you haven't lived through the real world oh, yeah. and you're still, like, learning mm-hmm. about the world, yeah. your thought is, this is out there. Which, there is serial killers. There is scary shit. Let me tell you, yeah. Right? Definitely but, there, you know, it's not like the movies. Well, I'm sure it is like the movies for some people in some places. Might be worse. But might be worse. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're people right. are fucked up. But no guy in a scream mask is going around the town stabbing people. I just saw Scream for the first time a uh-huh. couple months ago. Fire. It's Maybe there is sick. someone around in a scream mask. The first scream is lit. There definitely can be. Yeah. That's what's scary is that there can be. But I feel like when you're a kid, you're really thinking that, oh, my God, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is out there. I would and, close and my eyes and be like, oh, he's moment. coming. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's fucked up. Like, the ex, like uh, Scream's going to be opening my closet door. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you think that type of shit. Yeah. Um, I yeah. miss having that. I was raised, though, in a very spiritual family, so I believed a lot of crazy shit, I feel like. Like, my dad would literally, like, sage us. You uh, know what that is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he'd, like, sage us and do, like, Native American blessing and stuff. My dad wasn't a believer until my mom. My mom made my dad more of a religious person. Huh. Yeah, I think mine's the opposite, probably. Really? Yeah. My mom's very. Uh, my mom would be considered like a gypsy woman. Uh huh. Yeah. A gypsy uh-huh. reads hands. Her and family palms. just moved. Would she read my palm? You know, I've had my palm no, read no. and nothing but good shit's ever been said. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. I've been told not to mess with stuff like that. Yeah, I want to get... Ouija board shit like that. We have one in the house and some shit's been going on. And we have the tarot cards, which I want to kind of get... I want someone who knows how to do it, do it to me. I mean, I don't know nothing about it. I've just been told, you know? I think there is something spiritually going on. There's something. There definitely is. There definitely is. 100%. I remember being a kid uh, one time, and I was laying in my room. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really late at night, and I woke up. And I'm not even bullshitting. Like, I'm not lying to you. I saw this, like, orb, maybe the size of, like, a softball, Mm -hmm. like, in a corner, just like that corner, Mm -hmm. just, like, floating, like, and it was bouncing off the wall, kind of. Some, like, like Zelda shit? Yeah, like like a a fucking little orb fairy thing. Like a little fairy thing? And then it, like, kind of, like, turned red, and it, like, went away, and I'll never forget that. 
I don't know what it was. I didn't think like, oh my God, it's my grandpa. Yeah. But I was just like. That's the shit I need. I'm the type of guy where like I need to see it to believe it. I saw that. Yeah. And I'm not even kidding. I'm not going to discredit what you saw. I saw this orb. Oh, yeah. And it could be, I don't know, some fucking neurological thing. If you see something that you really truly believe you're seeing it, it's. I don't know what I've never, is. I'm not going to say, oh my God, I saw a fucking, no, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I've had dreams and shit too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes really bad deja vu, stuff like that. Yeah. Deja vu is interesting. Uh, I don't like it. Why? I just don't like that feeling. It's because it kind of you question, scares it, me. well, you go, wait a minute. And then you, and then what's really weird with deja vu sometimes mm-hmm. is how some, like it's in the middle of when the ones that are in the middle of a conversation, like when two people are talking in front of you yeah, and, you're just and like, then you can know, the fuck? and then you know what the person, they so, say like, what you know at the same time and you're going, yeah. And then you look at what they're wearing. And yeah. Like, and then you're like, wait a minute. Second. You're like, I wait a minute. Seen this. I have been here before. Sometimes I think we're in the Truman show. They say that, uh, that's you with the multiverse. That's you and you're another one of you experiencing the well, same thing at the same time. My brother had what a whole near death experience. And, uh, he said a lot of life is you trying to connect to your higher self. I feel that. And that's what he saw when he like died. Damn. Yeah. Court and when court in the hospital, he fucking died for real. Did he see like himself laying there? No, not nothing like that. He said he like actually saw like a dragon demon thing and he had to like wrestle it. And he thinks that was his addiction. Or what if it was the devil? Well, his addiction too, yeah. Devil, mm-hmm. any you know, demon, whatever. Damn. Now he's sober after that. Yeah, if I had a near death experience and I saw some fucking demon, yeah, devil, it might be the near death experience and not necessarily Fuck. the demon dragon, but yeah, yeah. yeah that would really fuck me up. Yeah. That was like when we saw, uh, Ki- what's his name? Uh, Ki- Kiwa. <laughs> There's a family of 10 and they all train. Kiwa. He, he's the tall one with the curly hair. You know who I'm talking about? Lulu's brother. Oh, okay. I don't do know. You, the, do you know who Lulu is? I know Lulu. Do you know her brother with the curly hair? That he's goofy as hell. I thought his name was like Cisco. Cisco. Is it Cisco? Yeah. Okay. My bad. Sorry, Cisco. I think they, there's ten of you guys and y'all got names. I don't names. know. It could be wrong. I know. I use. I, I call really him, know them. I call him Lulu's brother. Mm-hmm. He's such a goofy dude. But when JX choked him out, oh, and he and he went out. Oh my god! And he was out for a little bit, and then he came back, and the look on his fucking face, like he saw Jesus. <laughs> yes, dude. He he saw more than him, and he was just, he was like, yeah, I saw JX in a. Bar. He saw JX killing him. He saw JX. In at a temple in a black robe, and he was getting ready to say something, and he woke up. Fuck. Bro. I'm like, that's some <laughs> shit that I need. <laughs> you think when you die, it's just Jesus dapping Dude. you up, and he's like, hey, man, he did it. Good I job. hope at least when we die. We just get told everything. I don't want there to be nothing, that's for sure. Yeah, because but you won't know if there's nothing. I know that's what fucks me up, because it's so like it's we didn't know the millions of years, and then all of a sudden, bink, here we are. I mean, we Which could be, we, could, we could not even have been here for a million years. I know. I don't so, know. I look at history sometimes and I'm like, this ain't fucking real. This ain't adding up. This is bullshit. This shit ain't adding fucking up Fucking right dinosaurs? Here. Seriously? No, this I believe there's real. dinosaurs. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I believe in dinosaurs, everyone. See, I really hope when we die, right. it's like Grand Theft Auto. We get a stat sheet. I get to know everything I've ever done. No, no. I want to know everything. I think what's going to happen, my and theory is we're going to die. And then it's going to, you're going to feel all the good things you made people feel and all the bad. Oh, and then, bad and then that. probably go to paradise or like purgatory. I don't really believe there's like a hell, man. Here's my thought. I don't on think hell. we're bad enough to go to hell. That's if I don't like, murder someone or like, well, do even some then, crazy shit. even then, you know, when you are not a grudge holder and you are not like, mm. you're someone that. This is just what I think. And I don't know because I've never had anything horrible like that happen. True. I've never had, I mean, I should hate cancer so much or it's like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? But I've never had like That's a guy like. you can't control though. Yeah, like there's, exactly. So I've never had a Hitler kill my family, right? In history, mm-hmm. when Hitler was killing people. Yeah. I've never had, I don't have that anger. I don't, I can't feel yeah. that. Yeah. But what I do, what I kind of, what I think is like, okay. Mm-hmm. We're all in heaven together, right? Mm-hmm. I'm meeting these the, the the victims of all of that, and I'm talking to them, right? Yeah. Because I'd like to know what they went through. Yeah. I'd like to hear from them. Yeah. And then we see, and then it's like, boom! There's there's Hitler suffering in a lake of fire. And you can watch him. You can watch him. 
you watch him because he's suffering, right? Yeah. You're not in hell, but I would imagine. Like, I saw little Nikki, and they had their little globe where they can like see into shit. I'd be like, God, what's the, the update with Hitler today? Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. he's just suffering. I definitely think it's not like that. Right? Because after, because if time's forever in heaven, infinity, uh -huh. Uh -huh. let's say after an infinity, like a, a, a trillion years, yeah, we're all been in, we've all been in heaven for a trillion years, and Hitler's still down there burning. I think some people would forgive him. I think some people would probably forgive him. I don't know, man. I think so. I don't think, I don't, I don't think he, it's like you're that. hearing him going ah, 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 for a trillion you know what years. I, do? I go, well, let's just shut that off. And I, mute. <laughs> and then I fucking go back to the fucking. Yeah. Let's just. You're right. Shut the fuck. He's up. just he, forgotten about. God would definitely be like, hey, look at that, and then he'd probably be like, all right. Yeah, don't. <laughs> look at he'd that. Probably, it'd probably be like a portal, and he just oh. you can't see it no more. A but trillion, it's definitely not like that. I think we're gonna go, and then we're gonna become fire. one with the conscious mind, like the unconscious mind of that the, everyone is tapped into. Mm -hmm. We go back to that, and that's God, and then we just kind of exist, maybe in like a different. It's not gonna be like this perception. That's what I I'm know. saying. It's gonna be a whole nother different. Perception. And here's the thing about that: I'm you not, might not, I'm not even be schmitty there. You might be fucking blee blah. That's gonna upset me. A because I really love my mom and my dad, and I love everybody that's been a part of my life. B. If I don't have a penis in heaven, I'm going to be upset about that because you're, I love girls. and I What love if it feels like sex all the time? You don't need a penis. That's got to be something I don't know. I don't know because I just don't think I'm so like, I don't agree with that. From my understanding of like our religion, the Bible, So I can't watch little Nikki? You become one with God. So you don't, all your mortal needs, your, the flesh of the body, right? You don't want, you don't thirst, you don't hunger, you don't want sex. I don't want to laugh? No, because you're you're with God. You're feeling the ultimate form of satisfaction Ugh. is being with God. But I like watching movies. What if being with God feels better than all that shit? I don't know about that. It probably will. Don't we got to be doing something? No, because it's going to be a different perception, brother. We'll see. Bro, you ain't going to be Ricky Schmidt. You're going to be fucking whatever you are. You're Do you know what scares enemy. me? You know what scares me? What? Is that because I, I get I get high sometimes and I think about this shit uh -huh. and it's like one day we're gonna know, one day we die. Yeah. One day we die. Yes. And it ends. It does. And we find out. We all find out. We all wonder and we question about it our whole lives and one day we will find out. It's fucking freaky. The thing that sucks though is we can't tell anyone. I know. Isn't that the weirdest part? But I'm telling you, my dad did tell me through that TV. There's something. And that is your perception of that event. Yep. And that's valid. Right? Because I wasn't there. Right? I hope everybody... I have a crazy story, bro. Let's hear it. My second fight, my brother was dealing with his thing. He was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. It was two days before my fight. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was really freaking out because mm -hmm. I was scared of stuff. Um, I didn't feel that great. And then the day of the fight, bro, kid you not, kid you not, okay? You have to believe me. <laughs> I fucking was on my balcony. I Okay. So basically, I have this whole thing when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. There was always a red hawk, like a red tail hawk in the desert that would fly around. And my dad is my, we're like part Native American Apache Indian. Like my Nana lived on the res and stuff. That's and um, fire. my dad is super into that. And like, uh -huh. he says that that was like my, my um, uncle Joey, who I'm named after. That's really Always cool. guiding me, right? Yeah, so that's this fucking thing. And so And it's cool. been since I was a child. No, I love that shit. Right? How do you not have a red hawk tattoo on I want to get one. You but should. But dude, I have journals. Like, I'll show you. I'm not bullshitting mm -hmm. this. Like, I have these journals I've written like throughout years, mm -hmm. since high school and stuff. But they'd always come around during football games or like whatever. So I knew I was on the right path. So my first fight, I, it was there. Like, I always saw it. And then my second fight, it wasn't. I never saw it. I didn't see it. And it freaked me out, like, mm -hmm. where I was like, fuck, like, I might lose. So mm -hmm. I had to come to peace, like, with I'll lose, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, I came to peace within myself, like, I might lose, and that's okay, right? But I was scared to lose because I hate, like, I think the way I was raised and stuff, like, I hate letting people down, and I hate, like, letting my dad down. So I really was like, nah, bro, like, fuck that. So I'm freaking out. Haley's at my house, like, day of the fight. I woke up having coffee on the balcony, writing my journal. I'm like, fuck. A fucking red tail hawk lands on the light pole bro like in front of my balcony the morning of, i swear bro and i'm writing it. about it i no, wrote I i'm like that. what the i started crying no i believe and, uh, that shit. i saw it bro and i was like what the fuck so i'm like crying writing this thing and then i knew i was gonna win it was mm -hmm. weird i had this overwhelming like i was gonna win and i went to the fight and i won and like it just like i don't know and that shit's been like kind of like that spiritual stuff has kind of always happened mm -hmm. and like I just, I really like believe it. 
You know? Oh, 100%. And though. then it just is weird to me, like, I, I'd go to this other gym, like, move from Tucson, and then, like, I end up at, like, the Red Hawk, you know? Because oh, I, brother. like, knew who Suge was and Tim, and I've watched the pod and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, I was in the Patreon, and that's how I came down here. Really, it was, like, Tim had posted that he wanted to have people post their fights, and he'd react to them. Mm-hmm. So I just sent him, like, the link of mine. And he fucking watched it, bro. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, mm-hmm. And then I remember I connected that. I was like, Red Hawk, like, I've had this thing fall. I don't know. I That's just, fucking crazy. And I feel like wanted to tell Tim that one day. But, like, I just, I never really got the chance to tell him, you know? Yeah, that's really weird. I think it's cool, bro. Like, no, yeah, no, there's something and there. And my dad, dude, like, when I was contemplating leaving gyms and stuff. coming. If that's not a sign here, to grind it, what you keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, bro, and, like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, That's weird. special. No, 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 But it's not I, weird. my dad was telling me he's, not like. Not weird at all. My dad was telling me when I was, like, debating on what gym to stay at, you know, when I first was uh-huh. in Phoenix. Um, Fuck anyone that uh, doesn't, that does think that's weird just yeah. because they don't understand. Yeah. Yet. They're ignorant. And he was, like, go experience. with the Red Hawk. And I was like, you know, my dad don't know nothing about fighting. What gym, Tim, should mm-hmm. he doesn't, dude? He's sixty one. He doesn't. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, I'll oh, go with the Red Hawk. You know, that's like your you, spirit animal. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I went and I love it, bro. You know how Sean has his owl? Get yeah. a big giant Red Hawk. Fuck. Yeah. That'd be cool. Just I want to definitely get one. Entire chest piece. You know, that's why like I got the one on my side though. Is like uh-huh. I feel like at home. You know. Yeah. So. That's actually really cool, dude. Bro, I felt, yeah, and I, I don't want people to think I'm bullshitting, you know? No, I'm not. brother. <laughs> like, no, you're not. All yeah. right, so I talked about this when it first happened on the, me and Brendan's one of the episodes. Yeah. But uh, when I got home after my dad died, uh, it was literally like a day, probably the next day. Mm-hmm. I hadn't been home in so long, and I'm out here in the desert. I'm not near a lake, right? Yeah. So I don't see many, in, most insects I see are flies, right? Uh. I get home. I'm going to get me and mama, my mama Starbucks. And I'm, as soon as I'm pulling away with my drinks, a huge-ass dragonfly, massive, comes right. It's like flying above my windshield. Mm-hmm. And, it, and I had my window down. Yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck, because it was about to get in my car. I'm like, oh, fuck. And the only thought I had at that moment, I'm driving away, and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, holy fuck, that was a massive-ass dragonfly. Yeah. And I'm going... Fuck, I haven't seen a dragonfly in forever. Oh, it's it's cool being back home. Just because I'm like... And then I'm even having the conversation. I'm like, well, why don't I see dragonflies? I'm like, oh, I'm not near water. <laughs> you know, I'm just having this fucking talk with myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, constantly. Like, just have a, just a stupid conversation with myself. Mm-hmm. I get home. Me and my mom are sitting at the table literally talking about my dad. Yeah. Talking about eh, like how we're going to miss him, how he's still with us. He's always going to be with us, blah, blah, all that. Yeah. Sure enough, I'm sitting there, <coughs> smoking a bowl, drinking my Starbucks. My mom looks out the window. She goes, oh, my God, that is such a big dragonfly. I fucking sit there and I go, huh. And then out her mouth, she yeah. goes, I haven't seen a dragonfly in forever. Damn. And we usually see them all the time. Yeah. I haven't said anything to my mom about this dragonfly incident in Starbucks. So all of a sudden, I'm sitting there and I'm going, holy fuck. And she's still saying, oh, there he goes again. And, oh, wow, Rick, he's just sitting right here, not moving. Look at him. Yeah, that's cool. I look, and it's just sitting there, being yeah. a dragonfly. All of a sudden it goes, and it's gone. Mm-hmm. I go, Mom, it's really weird, but I had a dragonfly at the window. So all of a sudden I'm like, I'm just going to, I just, what does a dragonfly mean? Yeah. Literally means everything that me and my mom were talking about. It's a. It's supposed. To look it up yourself, Jobins. Type in what is the significance behind yeah. what does a dragonfly re- simplify? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it comes up as a sig- significant other, showing you that like changes happen. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, man. All this shit. Yeah. So I believe that. Yeah, and I feel like once you like give up to like God, the universe, whatever you perceive, mm-hmm. whatever to be, mm-hmm. like, things kind of like you'll get little signs and shit, mm-hmm. and like things will start you know, opening up doors and it's up to you to go through them. You yeah. know? I was at home before I moved here, like crying the blues, you know, mm-hmm. and like watch a fucking Arnold documentary mm-hmm. and it motivated me. And I just was like, you know what? Fuck it. I have opportunity. I'm going to go do it. And I just did it. That's I moved fucking away. Fire. Like, you know, same thing with Sean. I could have stayed home, graduated college and fucking, you know, been doing probably just working. See, but we're too like, different. That, you did it without. You did it all on yourself with your own. Definitely had help in though, you know, like my sister, and my mom, like you know. Yeah, but Sean was like, a blessing, like 
Uh. You know, a lot of people, it takes, even Tim, you know, everyone, you guys, like, it takes a whole army, you know, but I'm super blessed, for real. Oh, facts, me too. Yeah. Sean was like, Schmidt, Sean saw something in me. Yeah. Asked me to come out here. That's right. Right? Yeah. And and I, look at you, baby. Right? I really love, my favorite thing about working at the gym mm -hmm. is getting to build all the relationships with everybody. Yeah. Because at first, when I first started, because it's like, I had to learn mm -hmm. who the real ones were and yeah. who the real ones are. Because it's not that you're real or not. It's just uh, some people, there's been people that just come to visit because they go around other gyms. There's people that come and train for a little bit, then they're gone because they just they didn't keep with it. Right. And then there's even some blue belts who become blue belts, and then they stop. Tim said, yeah, it's a blue belt thing, which I didn't even know. You know what I mean? Oh. To me, it's like if I got a blue belt, I'd want to keep going. Yeah, you'd it's like a forever like, thing. Yeah. No matter you what go you get. You the stripes. You yeah. get four stripes, I believe. Yeah. Blue belt. Yeah. I'm not even a blue belt. Though. Yeah. I'm, a, yeah, I'm, I'm a no stripe white belt. So. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, Jiu-Jitsu is so tough and hard. Yeah. But so I had to learn like who the real, the ones who said, we can, like who the family ones are. You know what I mean? Yeah. 100%. And uh, so here I've been thinking that like some of those people that have been around forever, but it's like, no, no, you're just, we, you were just starting out too, so yeah. it's it's kind of cool to learn that we've been kind of like that's the thing I being learned, there together uh, in psychology in college, like the hive mind. Mm -hmm. It's like everyone kind of needs a collective, yeah. And when they find one that they identify with, that mm -hmm. identifies with their beliefs, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they kind of like become a family. It's just nice being a part of something. And, yeah, it's and, nice. Yeah, and it's nice being a part of something with friends. 100%, yeah. That's what makes it cool. Yeah. Like, dude, we, I mean, when I moved out here, like, I only knew people in Tucson, obviously. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know anyone in Phoenix, so it was, like, really hard, you know, mm -hmm. other than my sister, like, hanging out with her and stuff. But, yeah, it was tough, dude. And now I'm, like, super blessed to, like, be at the gym and, like you said, like, have friends. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I get to go to this place and train and, like. With some good buddies. Yeah, I have buddies and, like, we get to chat and shit and just be you know have boy talks and, shit. and then get serious boys yeah and then get serious get to work yeah it's fucking cool and then strapping up for battle bro right yeah it's how, nothing so how are you handling your nose broken right now uh dude at first i'm not gonna lie it's really hard like mm -hmm. it was pretty hard like and i'm not i've never really been hurt hurt like to where i couldn't play a football game or like you know mm -hmm. like i've always dealt with my injuries like i'll just play mm -hmm. um but this was kind of like can't really play you know yeah so it's kind of the first time i've been like forced to stop mm -hmm. training and like it was hard you know i have a very like hyperactive mind i feel like so mm -hmm. like it's hard for me to like sit at home mm -hmm. i have to like go to the gym and like watch practice yeah because like i have like all this energy oh yeah and i feel like i need to let it out you know mm-hmm but yeah, it was tough at first, but it, now I've kind of accepted it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, th I am blessed too, because now it's like, you got to be a student of the game. Mm -hmm. So like, regardless of if you're like training now, maybe it's like more like a, like, you know, like how I was in school, like you got to be a scholar, study the game, you know, right? rather than like physically study the game, that's, mentally study the game, you know, that's and where holding it was... mitts for people's helping a lot. Oh yeah. You know? Sorry, you... I mean, cut you off. Oh no, you're okay. I was but interrupting yeah, like, myself. So. Holding mitts for people's really helping me like study the game, mm -hmm. um, making me a little better. So, yeah. Yeah, you gotta like how Tim, because I think Tim's just he's yeah, yeah, super good role model, bro. For right? like how he he. Uh, and that was a very like, dude. My my Achilles was. I was walking on the mats yesterday, taking some videos. Yeah. And my all of a sudden my Achilles started hurting. I was rubbing it out. And I'm going, fuck, I can't imagine this thing snapping. Snapping. Dude. And, and then, then he, you're rolling well, fucking four months later. Yeah, and all the work that he's put into yeah. healing it. And then the, the pain. Tank. The pain of just walking. When, and you got to walk every day. <laughs> Walking's a very big thing of life. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably you know the main I mean? thing. And dude, just taking, oh, just right now stretching my legs out. I think about my Achilles and I'm like, oh my yeah. God. And Tim, the way, the way he handled that injury. 100%, yeah. Like, he and he, the, but he felt like he had to be a role model. You oh, know, he yeah. had pressure, mm -hmm. but it's the things that I learned from him that we all learn. It's like, dude, okay, and Sean. Yeah, I learned that Sean was the first person who really taught me it because he took that negative of being sidelined for two years with his injury and the other thing and the bullshit that was going on. What did he focus on? He's getting better. He was getting better, healing. Yeah. that's when Brandon came into his life. Mm -hmm. He was getting. He was building up other opportunities that he now has in his life. Yeah. Just such a good way to, it's like, damn, when you get injured and something like that, or, yeah. or even not an injury, but like right now, 
my with numbers and shit. Mm. Well, you get well, you don't worry about the numbers. Worry about where do you focus on being yeah, consistent. Man. Be consistent. Shit. Yeah, you got to be consistent and like be genuine. I feel like one thing is like being genuine, bro. Yeah. Like, I g- like genuinely want to be a fighter. Like I don't oh, want yeah. to like do this for some bullshit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you genuinely like have good intentions, I feel like God again, like the universe, whatever, mm-hmm. like puts shit your way and opens opportunities for you when like you are a genuine person. Right. And that's what you want, you know. And when it's something that you love, that you know you love, and yeah, you work dude. hard towards. That's what I'm super blessed with too. Is uh again like back to the injury and stuff, how I'm handling it. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> like having people like Tim and Shug to like give me advice, mm-hmm. you know, that helps immensely. Like I feel like um I've had coaches in the past like not shitting on anything anyone but like where i might not identify with their like outlook of mma and the game and like striking and all this stuff Mm -hmm. whereas like tim dude like i love his like perspective and how he like looks at at fighting and and at jujitsu and just mma and stuff even the injuries like the advice he's given me has like helped a lot yeah it's weird too because every coach is different right yeah 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 and then not only is every coach different but every person that the coach is trying to coach is different yeah which makes and it hard for that's them, where you know? tim is really good at yeah is he knows how to talk to different types of people which mm-hmm. is one of he posted in one of his books the other day because mm-hmm. he's he's just he's a student too yeah and so he's always just trying to learn how to talk respond correctly to different people yeah. to where a lot of coaches aren't like that they'll talk oh, the no. same to all and it's like not everyone perceives being talked down to to in, as encouragement because i can see how some yeah. like of course you always want a coach that's gonna push you yeah you right? definitely want to have like a coach that will give you constructive criticism yes. and like be real with you like yes. i don't want i don't want to have a coach that's like not you're the greatest because yeah. i have had that coach false before, you know narratives that and get that you false confidence up. helps you um but it can also be dangerous you know? yeah so, but too much can also destroy a fighter. It can make a fighter question themselves. Oh, yeah, 100%. Go, fuck, well, what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when, like, if you're hearing good from others. If you're hearing True, good yeah. from others and this coach is still just like, what? And then yeah. if they act weird when you go somewhere else, it's just like, whoa, what is that about? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like an insecurity thing. And the thing, too, I love about Tim is, like, he's been there, bro. Like, right? that motherfucker has, like, you know, so many fights. He's been in the fire. Like, he's been in a fight. He's had it's tough crazy. fucking situations like where he knows how it feels. And then think about this. Sean and Tim have this big challenge with Marab coming up. Mm-hmm. And he's super focused on that. He's got it. He's watching. He's studying Marabs. He's coming up with a game plan for Sean. He's got right. so much on his mind. Right. And yet he's there for anybody. Yeah. And his students and any stranger that comes in. Yep. Gives people the time of day. Yeah. He's a fucking That's man, skill. Dude. That's yeah. a skill. And it definitely, uh, that's what uh, plays out into our gym. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And you can feel it. Yeah. So that's what's really cool. We are, we're super blessed with what we got. Yeah, we are. It's we're definitely blessed. the best I'm blessed. environment I've been in for yeah. sure. Because I'm learning, I learn a lot from you, brother. Oh, I fuck. Learned, I don't know what you learned from me, dude. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> you are constantly <laughs> grinding, brother. Yeah. That's hard work. You learn a lot from that. I just, yeah, I mean. I just, and not only that, you stay positive. You got a good yeah. head on your shoulders. Now, I don't see what you do. Maybe you beat your girlfriend. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Comes out. Yeah, JoJo's been beating yeah, his JoJo's, girlfriend this JoJo's whole time. No, bad jokes, bad ass. jokes. But yeah, you're, <laughs> you seem like you got a good head on your shoulders. You're a pretty chill, chill guy. Yeah. Well, no one's perfect. I tried to, yeah. We all, and plus, that's the thing about Tim and Sean. It's like they want to act like their emotions never get stirred. It's like, dude, we are humans. Yeah. And the brightest minds have lost their shit. Yeah, 100%. So it's just a human thing. I we got to like learn how to the, be better. Some of the best best minds are a little wild. Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. And yeah. as long as – I think as long as if you know you're trying to get better and do better, yeah. that, that's all you can really get. Fuck yeah. If you're doing wrong and you don't give a fuck and you just don't give a fuck about how you're treating people and – you don't even give a shit. It's like, ooh, no. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. You got to treat everybody nice. Everybody with respect. Like, everyone's a person, you know? Yeah. Uh, the girl I'm talking to right now, she was like, what's one of your pet peeves? Like, w- with relationships. Oh, shit. Yeah, and it was a good question. I was like, damn, yeah. that's a good that's a good question. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's the shit I didn't even think of when I in that moment that I thought of. I was like, oh, well, that's, you know. But one thing I did tell her, I was like, I just don't like when you're not like when people are not kind to people like like a McDonald yeah. like when a McDonald's if we're getting McDonald's I'm not getting McDonald's it's just the thing you're getting McDonald's and the person's being super nice to you and you're just like yeah oh yep okay 
and yeah. you're just I'm like, yeah. ooh, that does that one grinds my gears because you have no idea what they're going through. You know what I mean? Yeah. It does at kind. It doesn't take anything for act of kindness. Yeah. So that's one of the things. Okay, how do you feel about this? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Get a little personal. My yeah. grandfather who passed away, my papa Jim. He, All right, Papa Jim. He had good money, shit like that. He's a civil engineer and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, not related by blood, by marriage, mm -hmm. but still my grandpa. Um, when we would go out to eat, he would go, you're the waiter, and they'd walk up. Uh -huh. And it, it, I don't want you to have a perception of my papa. He's a great guy. He's fucking an angel. But he would go, um, they'd walk up, hey, how's your day? He'd cut him off and go, lemonade. Oh, yeah. And then they'd go get the lemonade and come back. He would do that all dinner, right? At the end, he would thank them, and he always tipped them fat, fat tips. Like I'm like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. You know what's probably a sad thing for him that he didn't realize? Hmm. It's like, dude, yeah, you're, you're. I don't know what lesson you're trying to teach or what you're trying to show or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. But have you ever seen the movie Waiting? No. Yeah, he should have. Yeah. Because you just don't again, fuck dude. With this guy did so much for me and my family. Oh, I know. Everyone. But like, just think about what happened here. But like, I want your perception, like your how you think of that situation. Well, this is what I think. Those, p you know, how much of his food probably got fucked with, spit, really? you think spit so? on. When you, you just he wasn't like rude with it though. He'd kind of be like oh, snapping your gonna... finger, like if you're like hey, how you doing? It's snapping your finger. That'll piss off. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? And I just don't well, I always grew up learning don't fuck with people who handle your food. Yeah. And then sure enough the movie Waiting came out and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is the shit that happened." I, I think it has to do with too like he was like always the boss yeah. on like construction sites. He built like main highways in uh -huh. California and shit. My Bridges. aunt My aunt t would tip fat and she kind of has like her that little bitchy attitude well she didn't have a she's not that but like a, oh <laughs> like, no. like we're gonna get this like she was she, my aunt is the like the shit my aunt rose mm -hmm. she's the fucking she's like such a gangster like That's she fire. just oh yeah she'll go into a hampton uh -huh. and get the best room for a fucking discount that's how my mom is. My Uncle John, when we'd go travel, he'd be like, watch this. And she would go, wait here, boys. I'm going to go find us a room and think. And then he'd be like, watch this, Ricky. And then sure enough, she'd come up, oh, yeah, I got this. And he'd be like, what, what kind of deal? And she'd show. She'd be like, yeah, I got this and this is Because she was just like, yeah. she dealt with business her whole life. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, she just knew how to, could, like, just work things. Yeah. That's Gangster. How my, that's how my mom is. Bro. And she would tip. She always tips fat. It's like, oh, my God, Aunt Rose. Yeah. Aunt Rose. What are you doing? Aaron? What are you doing? My what uncle John would be like, Rose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Chill out, man. But my aunt Rose is a gangster. One time, uh, we had a, me and Haley were at a club, like strip club, uh -huh. and she tipped a hundred dollar bill to someone, uh -huh. and I was like, "We're fucking what broke." What the fuck? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Damn. Well, you're doing a good job. It's it's you know it's definitely good to know that you're surrounded by the best people for an injury because I know it's yeah. tough. Hold yeah. on. How long of a recovery you got for this broken nose? I know, it's fucking, I don't even know, dude. It's like six weeks and mm -hmm. then probably a little longer, just not sparring. I don't want to get it broke again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a little longer, probably a couple weeks. How Do you still want to fight by the end of the year? Or? Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm hopefully, fuck, uh, hopefully like end of September, October uh -huh. maybe. Uh, what organization are you fighting under right now? Uh, my last fight was for Fusion Fight League. Shout out Fusion. I fucking love them. Uh -huh. They're sick. Put on really good shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, in Montana. Yeah, because Tommy fights. He yeah, fought for he Fusion, fought for too. Fusion. I fucking love them, dude. That All the boys. Sick. But, yeah, hopefully Fusion again. If mm -hmm. not, maybe something local. Mm -hmm. um, I fought out in Tucson my first two fights. I would love so. for you to stay here so I can go watch. Yeah, local. Maybe fuck. get off, go see. Yeah, shit. Be fire. I knocked someone out. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, dude. You train really hard. You're going to do it. Thank What's you, your favorite? What would you say your style of fighting is? Shit. Um, I don't know. I really love striking. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm pretty athletic in terms of like my striking style. Mm -hmm. I kind of like to be a little flashy a little bit. You're powerful. I nice. Yeah, I like to, I like to really like... I really like to like drop people and like beat the shit out of them on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's my thing. But um, you seem I want to like knock someone explosive. out on the feet. Uh -huh. You know, real clean. You will. Yeah, I will. Definitely will. Tim's um, always g really good with being a good cornerman too. Yeah. And being a coach and I'll he'll guide say, you. Yeah, I love boxing, bro. Like I love throwing hands. That's your hands. favorite. Oh fuck yeah! Good uh. takedown defense and just uh. hands. Do you do do you do jujitsu or? Yeah, no? fuck yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every night, uh, do a nogi. Nogi. Yeah, every night. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And if I'm I not doing it, that. if I'm not rolling it, uh -huh. I'm watching it. So, uh. yeah, I, I love, dude, like, martial arts is, like, 
I love it, dude. It's like my favorite thing ever. That's fire. Yeah, it's so like, cool how I you fell in love with it. Lot. You didn't even know you were going to do it. Now no. you're doing it. And like, yeah, I just, I fucking love it, dude. I need, I'm someone that needs like to compete. Mm-hmm. Or I, yeah. I think it's, I've been doing it since I was like four. Let's out your Like anger. T-ball, fucking. It was funny. Is fighting followed me my whole life just because I was the big guy? Yeah. I was always picked on. Guy, People would want to fight me just because of me being the bigger guy. They just want to fuck with you? Yeah, just be, yeah, and I would always be like, I mean, you didn't do anything. Why yeah, you that's, fight that's me? got us. So. And I'd get in fight. I, I got jumped when I was in fifth grade. Brendan yeah. was there and watched it just because I was supposed to fight the one kid, and then it turned into me getting jumped. I got jumped in fifth grade as well. Uh, yeah. My friends and then the thought guy's like, I uh, didn't jump you. It's like, fuck. Oh, no, dude. What would you my, call it? My five friends beat the shit out of me Ugh. dude they they thought i like oh, dude we're in fifth grade mm-hmm. okay like uh-huh. i'm figuring See, I didn't out get beat up bad i got beat up because the teachers the after school like teachers saw that i was getting beat up they came up and <laughs> they, they all did they all dipped and oh no they, these ran. kids were smart as fuck these little yeah. criminals they uh-huh. took me we're like hey man let's go play soccer on the oh, top they field. Mafia'd on you. the top field you got mafia. so like we had at our school in feeling elementary mm-hmm. it was like a lower field and then a top field mm-hmm. and there was a little ramp that went to the top field they uh-huh. knew there was no proctors on the top field so we went up there to play soccer oh yeah they took me behind these shipping crates that they had like on our uh-huh. school for some reason and they fucking beat my ass so you're like what so did you go what's going on no i was just like oh let's play soccer and they're like oh let's go over here and i was like okay so i went over there and they were all, and I don't want to, you know, it's not uh-huh. racial, but they were all Mexican kids. You uh-huh. know? They beat my fucking ass. Really? I remember being on my back and they were like stomping on me. Not really? my head, but like my body. And I remember kicking one in the dick hard. Uh-huh. Boom, kicked him. Drop and then, him. D- no, fuck no, dude. Uh-huh. I kicked him and got my ass beat even more. Uh-huh. And then I like kind of, kind of like scurried and got up and I uh-huh. fucking ran, bro. Damn. I dipped out. Good thing you got out. Nose bleeding. I dipped out, ran down the fucking, wee- wee- and I ran out of the school. How much longer would you get your ass beat maybe if you had not, not have ran? I don't know, dude. That's crazy. I had a fucking mean shrimp game. I was shrimping out. Right? Shrimping. Got a, uh, uh, took off. I was fast fuck, so I took off. Boom. Couldn't catch me. I was gone, but yeah, bro, they beat my ass. They thought I like liked a kid's girlfriend. I'm like, bro, we're fucking seven. Uh-huh. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, one time I got punked out at a movie theater. I'm watching a movie and because the movie theater is like everyone on a Friday night would be hanging outside the movie theater. Yeah. And it was like a huge crowd all the time. That was like the thing to do. Yeah. I'm watching me. Oh, so-and-so is ready to beat your ass out. So I go out and fight him, Ricky. Come on. And they're trying to get me. I'm like, no, I don't want to fight this guy. Yeah, bro. Fuck sure enough, they, they get me out there and then he's fucking circle opens up. Everyone's watching. My dad pulls up. Get in the car. Get in the car. I fucking got in that car and dipped, dude. Damn. About got my ass beat in front yeah. of everybody. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. I said, fuck this. And then after that, uh, I felt that was like my first betrayal. Uh huh. I was betrayed, like, by my friends. Really? That was like betrayal. That's always the worst, fuck right? Me Your up. first like, betrayal damn. of a friend. I was like, my boys really, like, jumped me. Right? I felt the same and way with dad, the fifth, My dad my was like, one. what the fuck happened? And the way I was raised, I didn't want to tell him I got my ass beat. So I was like, I got jumped, but I fucked them all up. And that, see, no, when I went home. My dad definitely did not believe me. Dude, I had to go to the hospital. My mom, I get, I get home. I, we didn't go to the hospital. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to hide it. I go in the bathroom and I start wiping off all my cuts. Yeah. But, like, I had a little, slight little concussion because yeah. I was acting weird. My mom noticed. She's like, what's wrong? And I was like, nothing. She's like, why? You have all these she's like, what, why? And she's like, look at me. And I'm looking at her and she's like, t- she's like what happened? And I'm like, ah, I got in a fight. And I had to tell her everything. She yeah. took me to the hospital. I was like, damn it. Now I'm sitting high in there and looking at me. And she's like, oh, and the doctor's like, oh, yeah, he just probably has a small little slight concussion. He's yeah. fine. Just take it easy. And yeah. I'm, I'm all fucking embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting's I mean, followed me my whole life, dude, but I was always afraid of it. I didn't like fighting. I, my buddy Mark got me in a fight when I was in high school one time for fun. <laughs> and I didn't know how to fight me and this kid. And I hit him on the head and he just fell. He got up. I hit him on the head. He fell again. And that was it. But my buddy Mark and our other friends, they're all laughing at us because yeah. I just don't know how to fight. I'm awkward. One time, we because fighting's just always been the thing. Like, even one time, kids would meet up and box. Yeah. I'm literally throwing strikes behind my back. Yeah. Because I didn't know how to just fight. This kid's, yeah, because this kid's just fucking me up. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Because yeah. I just didn't like fighting. Yeah. But a part of me wishes that I would have got. I'm watching Paul's kid. Did you ever watch Paul's stories? No. Paul has a story of his kids all beating the shit out of each other with these boxing gloves. I'm like, dude, I wish I had that. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's teaching them right there. And they do football, jiu-jitsu. See, and I had, I had an older brother. 
So like my I older did? brother would be my bro. One time he threw me into a bed frame. Uh huh. Boom. One time he threw me into a fireplace and I cracked my head. I grew up with sisters, man. No wonder I'm such a sensitive I cracked bitch. Cracked my head open, dude. I was fucked up. Yeah, I bet. Dude, that's I fucking crazy. You know what is a funny story? You just unlocked in my memory. I peed on a kid. You peed on a kid? I peed on a kid. Why'd you pee on a we kid? We were in, uh, uh, it was called Lindero Daycare. Uh-huh. And, uh, You're going to get canceled now. It's you all right. peed on a kid. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I was like four, bro. And uh, they fucking, yeah. We were in daycare, and I just, I have a memory of it. Like, I remember we were playing Scooby Doo, and uh-huh. I wanted to be Scooby. And uh-huh. he wanted to be fucking Scooby. And I was like, I'm Scooby. And he was like, no, so I marked am. your territory. His name's Ian White. I remember this kid. He's like, Shout no. Ian. He's like, no, I'm Scooby. And I was like, no, you're not. He like, watches. He's like, I'm still and fucked do up. Do you know like on a playground of wood chips? Oh, yeah. And we were like sitting on a little box toy, uh-huh. you know, like a little oh, stupid yeah. little thing. And like uh-huh. we're on it and I like shoved him off. And he like, Ugh, and he hits the ground and I get over him and I just like kicked him. And then I peed on him. <laughs> and they fucking... Grabbed me. My dad was picking me up, uh-huh. and then he saw it. Cause yeah, why would he do that? After he, he watched saw it. it happen, I peed on him. The proctors came. That like, he can't be here. He's kicked out. He cannot be here. Yeah. He just whipped his dick out and peed and on, pissed the kid. on the kid. Yeah, and they're like, "Where'd you learn that?" And I said, "My dad." Oh. Cause he'd always pee outside. Uh huh. And on like, people. No. <laughs> Because now that's what they're thinking. They're outside, going, sir. I don't know. Bro. They're going, sir, who do you piss on in front of your He'd always child. just like, we'd be doing yard work. He'd like piss outside. So I just like pissed outside. It was like a really? thing. Yeah, like, I don't know. And I peed on the kid. And then my dad like was fucking yelling at me in the car. He's like, what the fuck? And then we got in the car and he was laughing. He's like, the funniest shit I've ever seen. He's like, see, you I pissed got, on a kid. See, you're talking, to, you're hitting a little soft spot for Schmidt. Because one time, me and Brendan are coming home with his mom. And and he no, I knew this kid wanted he, this. My buddy had a crazy older brother who was actually like a fucking badass and like the scary kid of the neighborhood who actually later in life went to prison for a long time. And I was out and like he was just always like oh. he should have been a fighter. He yeah, probably yeah. should have went to the UFC and MMA and his life would have been better. But I knew he was getting his brother to beat my ass. And the scary brother. The scary brother. Oh, God. So sure enough, I didn't know when this the timing of what of the world sometimes. Me, because Brendan lived on the corner. I lived up here. Me and his mom were coming home, right? I see him and my buddy and the other kid all walking up the street. And I'm fucking like, oh, my God, oh, my God. We get into Brendan's house. Sure enough. And I'm, I'm like, oh, fuck. And I'm telling him. Brendan doesn't know anything, right? <laughs> Brendan don't know shit. Was Brendan down? Brendan, no, Brendan's like, what's going on? I go, oh, dude, hold, I'll be right back, dude. These are these fucking kids that want to are in my kid. I'll just be right back. Literally open the door. That motherfucker gets right in my face, right? I have this, my favorite Rams jacket back. Shout out St. Louis Rams. St. Louis, yeah. Back when St. Louis were like, you know, trying to be something still. Yeah. I had my favorite jacket on, poofy jacket. That motherfucker said, take off your jacket. I took him, throws it over to my, the one of them, who was one of my friends I liked at the time, who was a fucking, just crazy kid shit. You know what I mean? Oh just God. being assholes, right? Pisses on my jacket while the kid's in my face. And he's like, he's like, fucking do something. I'll knock you the fuck. Just saying shit. And I'm fucking scared. Going, oh, fuck, I can't. The Schmitty now, we were on a stairs on a banister. I wish the Schmitty now, because I didn't know how to fight. I still don't know how to fight, but at least I know a little something. I wish I would have fucking pushed that motherfucker off right, that ramp and just beat the fuck. But I, I probably would have got my ass beat. You, yeah, the there's kid, three of them. Yeah, you and he was really like scared. The fucking fire poker. And just oh, yeah. And he, bing, was, bing. He, he was a tough dude. So you don't yeah, think my the fire fa- poker would have done him in. <sighs> so yeah, my favorite jacket got pissed on. Never wore it again. Threw it away that day. I said, man. Damn. I said, I said man, my favorite jacket got. That was what I was most. I didn't. Could have been your face though. Oh, I know. I got punked. You know what I mean. But yeah. I was real. The, like the real loss was the jacket. That Damn. was the real loss that day. That fucking sucks. Yeah, dude. That's oh, bullshit. I never. You never forget those moments. Speaking of prison, the uh, guy that uh, one of the kids that jumped me. Uh huh. I don't know. Should I say his name? That's his up to you. Devin. Devin. Uh. He's in prison. He fucking shot a guy. In that Killed cre- him. I, kn- I had a friend in he high school, Ryan. Up, he was like selling dope, like weed, uh-huh. after we graduated high school or something. Uh-huh. Sim- and, very uh, similar he's like 19, so far. 18. Uh-huh. I think he's a little older, 19. And he, uh, yeah, I guess the guy like owed him money and he fucking went to the guy's house and killed him in front of his grandma on her birthday. Oh my God. And went to fucking prison. I don't know if he's still in there, but yeah, dude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, real didn't shit. That, didn't Small it make, town shit. Like, I know. Fuck. You go, holy fuck. And I'm like, that guy was kicking my head in one day when we were kids. And then he became my friend, though. He, like, became after, like, they were all my friends again. It was so you weird. know what's weird about the guy I knew? 
Yeah, that's weird. Nice guy. I'm not going to say his last name. This people, guy, Devin, was cool, too. He's people, nice. But people like, yeah, from I, back home who watch the pod know who I'm talking about. But his name was Ryan. And nice guy. I had a... I had a, The guy that pissed on your jacket? No, 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 no. Oh. no. This is the guy who killed yes. somebody. Oh. Yeah. He... How'd he do it? He was a nice kid. He was in... Like, we all worked... I worked out sometimes. I had a art class with him, and I sat next to him. We would, and he was always really nice to me. Mm-hmm. He knew I had some beef with the senior kids, and he would tell me, like, oh, yeah. Fucking... A year after I, he was a couple years older than me, but it was mm-hmm. like the year after I graduated. It was a weed deal gone wrong. Apparently, he was buying weed from this guy, and it was a money thing. He, ch- they had a car chase, <laughs> chased the guy down and shot him. Pulled up to him, shot him, and killed him. He's, I don't know if he's again. I don't know if he's still in prison. I would imagine he still is. Yeah, again, I don't know about but, the guy. Yeah, and you, when you find this out, you're like, holy! I was like, holy fuck! He was so nice in high school. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. To chase someone down and shoot them. Or to pull up on pull them on the in front of their grandma. Gr- <laughs> bro. And then kill him. He probably didn't know drugs. it was his grandma's birthday, but it was his grandma's birthday. That's where it's like so grateful to just be alive. And it, dude, you know what scares me is uh, road rage. I don't R- fuck with that shit. I, especially out here. I just, oh, I was wrong. Yeah, sorry, I man. I was wrong. Nope. Dude. Go ahead. You know who's bad with road rage? Who? Brendan. Really? Brandon. Little Brandon gets, and Tim gets fucking down. Oh, Brandon! Brandon will fucking go from zero to hundred real quick with some road rage. Haley and does I, too. I'm like, dude, you got to remember, bro. You could fuck with the wrong person at the wrong time. You know Haley's favorite? What? My boyfriend will beat your ass. Oh my, my god! My boyfriend will beat your ass. Oh my god, Haley, you got it, girl. I fucking love her, Haley. Dude, but Haley, we my love My boyfriend you. will beat your fucking ass, Haley, don't and do I'm that. sitting here like, okay, now I gotta fucking now beat I gotta, this guy's ass, and he might have a gun. And he might kill you. Out of jealousy. And he might shoot me. Yeah. God, that'd be a terrible way to go, getting shot. Dude, you know. I'm sick, though, if you survive. Oh, my God. Pe- yeah, it's just the dude. thing that anything can happen any yeah. day. Yeah. Any it's day. It's fucking terrible. It's how you react and handle things. Yeah, it is. It truly is. It's how you uh, react. You know, you know what I learned from Juco? Adjust and adapt. 100%. Oh, dropping gems. Adjust right? and adapt, baby. Whatever happens, adjust and adapt. This has been a good fucking pod. Thanks, and I man. feel like I didn't even tap into you like I wanted to. This was supposed to find out more about JoJo. And then we went on about yeah. other things and other things here. Other things like there. a, uh, what is it? Like a, what are those things called? They're Russian dolls. Uh-huh. A bunch of oh, yeah. 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 Was, yeah. You're a cool fucking dude. It's been an honor to Thank meet you. you. I'm glad I became your friend. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, you're okay. one of the real ones. <laughs> That's why I want, like my goal is just to get all the. Oh, the, yeah. Let's, uh, let's settle this, uh, this coffee drama. Ooh. Yeah. So, okay, I'm a real well, one, all right? Yeah, hold on, Timothy. I don't think Tim will ever get this far into my pods. But uh, so if anyone who has watched the Confidential Pods, let me let me talk and then I'll let you talk. Okay. Because I need you, actually. Okay. Uh, one of the things <laughs> about being Schmitty Jobins is yeah. many of my problems are gaslit. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I have had to, my dad always told me, Schmidt, Ricky, your mouth's what's going to get you in trouble. And it has. And I know that. I know my mouth gets me in trouble. I know I'm the friend that people think can take it because I dish it. And I get that. That's live by the sword. Die by the by sword, brother. Die by the sword. And I'll always be that. I'll always accept it. But it comes with things that are tough sometimes for the entertainment, sake of entertainment. And things got gaslit a smidge bit. Uh, if you saw the Confidential Pod, you know what I'm talking about. Me and Mariah... Mm-hmm. Me and Mariah had a great talk. It was perfectly fine. Tim was just trying to gaslight a little couple things, and uh, I go for you can go from there. Uh, yeah. So he <laughs> made uh, I get a cold americano. And did I make foam. you say this? Make me say what? Have I made if whatever you're about to say? <laughs> no, no. How, uh, did I? It's say nothing crazy, but and, no. and did I say you're, you're going to come on this pod today and you're going to? No, 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 okay. no, no, no. But I, I'm not defending Just for the hate. I know not you're not defending, defending you. You're not defending Because as I your did. friend, yeah. we do have to be hard on you because we 100%. want you to be better. 100%. That is a fact. Facts. Okay. And I accept that. I will say, when I have gotten a mantra from you, mm-hmm. sometimes it's watery. Oh, no, guess what? But you fixed it. I did. You know how to make it now. Yep. We yeah. were making them a little slightly different. Even Mariah told me when okay. she, okay. when Mariah told me, because we she went through. Yeah. She goes, yeah, we were we've tightened it up. We've learned how to make matches better. Mainly, okay. I think because of Haley. So I was. Making, I will say Haley's matcha game is very good. Yeah. She loves matcha. She loves 
making it. And Shout she out. She knows how to make guess it. Guess what? After me and Mariah's meeting, because she showed me, yeah. I was not putting enough milk and I was putting too much water. Boom. It's an easy. I can definitely see that being the problem with uh, how the matcha was. And guess what, Jobins? He's addressed it and it's been fixed. I accepted That's that fire. I was doing that Good wrong. Shit. And guess what now? Easy peasy lemon But that was squeezy. that was just the matcha thing. Oh, I know. Hold on. I just want to defend because guess what? Taylor got a new matcha from me yesterday. Okay. Schmitty's. And if Taylor says it's good, it's it's probably good. Because Taylor's our so Joe he's a coffee gonna, connoisseur. He's our coffee matcha connoisseur guy. Yes. And I told him what went down. I go with Taylor. So they told me I'm. I go. So this should be a lot better. Let me know. And he goes, Oh my god, yeah, much better. So now that I know how to correctly make a matcha, because because what I'll say is Haley has everything down to a measurement. I know. So it's all the same. Science. Every time. Yep. She's like, boom, 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 boom. This, how much of this, 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 boom. Yep. And that's what she does. Yep. Okay. Your matchas, I'm going to get one probably today. And I'll try it. I It'll would love probably it be too. way fucking better. Mm -hmm. But the Americano mm -hmm. is supposed to be cold with cold foam. Mm -hmm. I like it that way. Mm -hmm. But I also like Americanos hot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes... I would get a hot one from Schmidt, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'd get a cold one. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like a, like he would just give me one uh -huh. after I'd order it. And I wouldn't really specify. So it is on me. I wouldn't specify hot or cold. Can I ask you this? And I, and I also didn't address it, uh -huh. when it when it was wrong. Did you feel? But I didn't acknowledge that it was wrong. Did you feel like you couldn't? Like, oh, if I, am, if I tell Schmidt he made this wrong, he's going to freak out on me. Did you think that? No, but I can definitely see people doing that. Okay. I can definitely see them not wanting to piss you off yeah. or like and I don't, ask you for too much. Yeah. And I, I've always, I never. And again, that could just be a perception of you. It's yeah. not even how you are. I know. Cause the thing is I have made coffees wrong before. Right. And there's been people that go, Hey, Shman, I meant iced. And then I'm like, right. Oh my bad. And I remake it. Yeah. So like I've, I feel bad if people think, Oh, I can't tell Schmidt. I don't want to piss them off or make them feel bad. It's like, no, if I make Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't feel that way. Again, dude, like when I'm at the gym, you know me. Like I'm sometimes I'm fucking like smoking. You're just weed laid back, you're shit. easy I'm chilling. going. Yeah, I don't really Schmidt like, fucked up your coffee. If I get care. a cold coffee, like I'm kinda like, Oh, cool. I don't really yeah. care. I'll just drink it. Like I don't really mind. It's not really like a problem to but me. But for me it is because I wanna make the coffee. See, and yeah, and, and that's what I, I have to understand is like love. that's a partially on me as well. Like I needed to be better at, hey man, can you make this cold? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I didn't know. You know what I mean? I didn't fucking care. Mm -hmm. But it got noticed. Mm -hmm. It got noticed. By? I would assume our other barista. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I would assume. And I would assume she said something. Mm -hmm. And I would assume mm -hmm. that that's how it got brought up. Because I didn't even know that you were fucking it up. Right. But then I talk, got learned you were fucking it up. And I was like, oh, yeah, he is fucking it up. It is better cold. Yeah. But, you know, hey. And here's the thing. He made me the, one yesterday, and it was perfect. It was cold. It had the cold foam. Yeah. It was perfect. It was it was literally the same as Haley makes it. Yeah. It was good. And the thing with me, I'm not defending myself because I fucked up. Mm -hmm. I was fucking up. Uh, I never even knew what Americano was until I started making coffees. And then everybody likes Americanos different. Like, JX, he's very picky with his Americanos. Everyone likes different. Some people like nothing in it. Yeah. Some like the vanilla in it. Well, the ratio of water. Some people like a lot more than others. Some people just like a little splash of water. Some people like just an Americano with a splash of hot water. So when, oh, okay. when you right there even said that Americanos are supposed to come iced, I thought no 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 they do come hot. Yeah, so that's why. I think why any drink. Uh, that is like coffee comes mm -hmm. hot originally, and then you yeah. get it iced. And then the times, from my, yeah, what I understand or would assume, yeah, because any time that I gave you an iced coffee, I probably thought I was making an iced latte. Yeah, you know what I mean. Again, it's just I think it's just communication. It is, and my retardation of but I not also knowing coffee. Don't I just, dude? When I'm, I'm home, when I'm home, I drink hot American, like mm -hmm. coffee black hot with maybe like honey in it. Mm-hmm. So that's like an Americano to me. Yeah. So I drink it hot. And so when I'm at the gym and it's cold, I yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, fuck yeah. Or and if it's I hot, do. I don't care. Schmitters fucks up, Jobins. I yeah, fuck we all up. Fuck up. I fuck up because I'm not. Up, the, when the day comes that Elon can put the chip in my brain and I don't fuck up anymore, that'd be great. But then you're not human. I know. But then I won't fuck up anymore. But part of being human is fucking up. And exactly. Learning. That's part of this whole it, experience. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We're on a but fucking journey, boys. I didn't want you to ever think. I was never, dude. 
I, never, I, know I didn't feel like I couldn't address it with you. I just Sh- didn't care enough to address it with you. Schmitters has been doing this game long enough. He knows how the boat goes. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. you and Dane. And, and you know what's funny? So many people have been coming up to me and they're going, Schmitty, I really love your coffees you make. I think you do a great job. I'm just the coffee villain. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, it, I w- want to be better. At the, no, end I, of the, at the end of the day, yeah. Schmidt wants to be better. Yeah. I don't want to not. I don't want to give shit drinks, but now I know how to make the matches correctly because it's matches are very. You don't give shit very, drinks though. That's like yeah. the thing. Well, There's the like matcha a couple thing, drinks that you didn't make good. Yeah, it the fuck ups with making ice and hot. That's me, right? The, yeah, but that's again, me. it's me too. I didn't I address it with you. I didn't specify hot or cold. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I've done that before, where yeah. people have had to go, "Hey Schmidt, I meant to, I meant it iced." But when, but hot. when, it, when it got brought up, like, "Hey." I, you normally get that cold. I was like, oh, yeah, I do. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I don't care, though. You know? I know, but um, at the end of the day. I didn't want you to feel like you were betrayed. No, no, no. I didn't feel betrayed. Yeah. I just was like, God damn it. I don't like betrayal. Here we go again. I just don't want ever like, because I don't have the main goal mm-hmm. in my head it, that I, the thing that's different for working for your friend than working for shitty fucking sprouts yeah. is. <laughs> At Sprouts, I was looked at like a saint because I went in there, I did my job, and I got the fuck out. Did your job, you shut up. I shut the fuck up, I went in there because I didn't give a fuck about Sprouts. You know what I mean? I cared. Well, yeah, they don't care about you. Yeah, they didn't care about me. I cared about the people I worked with. 100%. I yeah. didn't want to make anyone else's life there harder or more miserable with my actions. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So like that was my mindset at Sprouts. Yeah. And then once I could leave Sprouts... I didn't. I ran out that door as soon as my fucking feet left that door. I didn't give a fuck about Sprouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The difference here is now Red Hawk Java House is on Schmitty's mind all the fucking time. That's right. Because you, know you want to do a good job. I don't want to let. I don't. I love it. I don't fucking, want. Yeah. I love Tim and Mariah. I don't want to let them down. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a lot more worry that comes into working for your friend. Because you don't want to fucking let them down. So when See, I, but that, that that might be what you need, you know? Yeah. I mean? That's oh, good. I, yeah. You might need to, like, have a job where you care about, like... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, as you should. Yeah, yeah. As you should. Because what life is it if you're fucking... Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I don't plus, fucking be At the here. end of the day, look how blessed I am that my, like, my problems are, like... I made a the, fucking... These problems. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're over here freaking out about a <laughs> fucking hot coffee... And a cold coffee. Especially during this fucking year, brother. Election year and just how horrible life could be. Holy shit. Holy hell how horrible life could be. I'm so blessed that I get to do a podcast. You know what I mean? I'm blessed that I get to sit here with another friend. Yeah. And not only do I get to do a podcast, I don't have the fear of saying something that's going to get me killed. Grateful. True. And that's something we don't fucking understand. And I'm grateful that I can go, yeah. hey, my president is a fucking dying retard. and Or where you got to serve yeah. fucking five years in the military yeah. and it's mandated yeah. like you have to. And if I want to go kiss my girl in public at a Walmart or while I'm pumping gas, I can. Not and I'm some not, blind pirates. Yeah, and I'm not going to get you. fucking killed. Um, <laughs> and um, I don't know if there's a God or not. And uh, I believe there is. And I'm going to be a good human. Yeah. But I'm not going to live... By the rules. And I don't have to worry about being killed for it. That's very true. We're very, like, Imagine we're getting blessed. stoned to death. Imagine your head being cut off because you didn't fucking believe in a god or believe in some stupid fucking crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Holy hell. When you start talking about that stuff in life and everything, it's like, whoa. Yeah, man. We are definitely People lucky. People die. People die over religion. Oh, yeah. Fucking over a thought. They die over criticizing anyone that's, like, above them. Oh my goodness! It'd be like, oh yeah, that guy sucks, and it's like, yeah, you're you're getting killed, buddy. It's fucking terrifying, dude. We could have went on, we could have keep going. Yeah, I could yeah. do this all day with you. Yes, sir. Jobin's episode one hundred and fifty. This is my buddy JoJo. He's the fucking man. You're gonna have a fu- hopefully uh, next time we'll yeah. do a pot again when we got a fight announced. We yeah, that'll talk be about sick. Some shit. That'd be we'll talk about sick. more stuff and yes, sir. Catch up with you. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming on today, my man. Thank you, big dog. Thanks for watching, Jobin's. Love you. See you next time. Yes, sir.